Let's analyze this truss using the method of joints. We can start by calculating its support reactions. To determine the reactions, first we draw the free body diagram for the entire structure. Note the unknown reaction forces. We have labeled them AX, AY, and CY. We need to write three equilibrium equations. The sum of the forces in the x direction must be zero. The sum of the forces in the y direction must be zero. And the sum of the bending moments, say about point A, must be zero. Let's solve these equations for the unknown reaction forces. From equation one, we get, solving equation three for CY, we get, Finally, we can use equation 2 to determine AY. Now that we have the support reactions, we can use the truss joints to calculate member forces. We start by identifying a joint with at most two unknown member forces. Joint A has two unknown forces, the force in member AB and the force in member AC. Let's draw the joint's free body diagram. We need to write two joint equilibrium equations. They are Solving these equations for the two unknowns, we get There are a few more member forces to be determined. Let's look for a joint with at most two unknown forces. At joint B, we have only two unknown forces, the force in member BC and the force in member BD. Let's draw the free body diagram for the joint. Here we need to determine angle alpha. It equals 33.69 degrees. Now we can write the joint equilibrium equations. We have two of them. The sum of the forces in the x direction must be zero. The sum of the forces in the y direction must be zero. Using these equations, we can easily determine F, B, C, and F, B, D. Three unknown member forces remain. Let's use joint C to calculate F, C, D, and F, C, E. Here is the joint's free body diagram. We need to calculate angle gamma here. It equals 33.69 degrees. Now let's write the equilibrium equations and solve them for the two unknowns. One more unknown member force remains, the force in member DE. We can use joint D to determine this force. Here is the free body diagram for the joint. Angle delta equals 33.69 degrees. To determine F, D, E, we need only one equation. The sum of the forces in the y direction must be zero. Solving the equation for the unknown, we get, we are done. Let's summarize the results. Here are the member forces and the support reactions. Note that the zero force members are not shown in the diagram. A negative force magnitude means the member is in compression. A positive magnitude indicates the member is in tension.